This question is a uh, cards question, so you have to know about a deck of cards. And we have a picture of a deck of cards here. There's 52 cards, four suits. And of each suit, there are 13 cards. Sometimes they split up face cards uh, from number cards. So there will be Jack, Queen, King uh, will be the face cards. All right, so let's go ahead and just get started here. A card is randomly selected. What's the probability of drawing a 10 of hearts? So we could look at the 10 of hearts is right here. So let's think about favorable to total. Now if we think in those terms, there's one card that's favorable, 52 cards total. So that's the answer for A right here. There's one uh, 10 of hearts. That's one out of 52. Now, if we change this a little bit, if I just said what's the probability of drawing a 10, there's four 10s, so we would have gotten four out of 52. But this question was very specific. All right, we're gonna move on to part B. If a card is randomly selected, what's the probability of drawing a diamond or a heart? So now there's lots of diamonds, 13 of them, lots of hearts, 13 again, so diamonds or hearts. Chance of diamonds is 13 out of 52. This is an or, which means you add. Probability of hearts is again 13 out of 52. So you add them up, 26 out of 52. Now I could have just said, hey, diamonds or hearts. Well, there's 26. So 26 favorable outcomes, 52 total, 26 out of 52. You can compute this either way. Last part, card is randomly selected. Uh, probability of drawing a number smaller than eight, and we're counting the ace as a one. Now, if you notice, the ace is already in sort of the one position here. Smaller than eight. So does eight count? Eight doesn't count, it has to be smaller than eight. So that means seven and everything smaller right here. All right, how many cards? So these are all the favorable cards I put in a box. How many cards are here? There's seven across, four down. Uh, so you can add these up, but we have seven and seven is 14, another seven, 21, 28. So there's 28 cards here, 52 total. Um, you could reduce this. Uh, the, the, they do want answers as reduced fractions. Uh, so I'll, you can reduce these mathematically, but let's talk about another way. So that's the answer for part C once you reduce it. There's another way to think about it. <clears throat> we can just think in terms of one suit right here. There's seven good cards out of 13 if we just did one suit. So if we ignore the suit, seven out of 13, and that actually is what this fraction reduces to. The previous one, 26 out of 52, reduces to one half. Why does that make sense? There's four suits total, and two of them are good. So that would be two out of four, or one half. And again, all of these are equivalent fractions, uh, which is why uh, it doesn't matter which way you think about it, you should get to the same result. Just think favorable divided by total. And on this question, do make sure reduce your fractions.